All right, the Austin Food and Wine Festival kicks off next weekend, and it's a chance for all the foodies out there to try some of the most amazing food with us this morning. Mary Catherine Curran of Elm Restaurant Group, and we have Katie Dorflinger with Austin Wine and Food Festival. Thank you so much for being here, and oh my goodness. And you bringing see this? this beautiful situation. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Looks goodness. amazing. So talk to us a little bit about next weekend. And I know this is a huge event for Austin. Yeah, it is. So we're, uh, we're really excited to host everyone out at Auditorium Shores. We have 80 chefs and beverage experts coming out to the festival that will really be showcasing the best in the country. Um, so there's a full list on our website of who's going to be out there, but we're really excited about kicking it off on Thursday night with Feast Under the Stars, which is where um, <laughs> Mary Catherine will be Yeah, serving. and you were just telling us that you have some special things in order for spring and yes. to kind of kick things off. Right, so it's springtime and we're outside, so the dessert that I'll be making on Thursday, not the strawberry cake I brought for you today, but no, sorry guys, be, it's a tease. <laughs> it but we'll be, enjoy it and tell yeah, them how great yeah. it is. Why not bring strawberry cake? Um, but it'll be um, an olive oil cake with a blackberry filling and an elderflower liqueur glaze and fresh mint. So keeping it really nice and light for spring, and since we'll be sitting outside and enjoying this lovely weather. So, but today I brought one of our famous strawberry cakes from Irene's. Um, it's just, it's one of the most popular things we have there, so I it thought I'd bring that. It smells so good. Yeah, so good. And it looks beautiful. Yeah, she just cut it before we went on air, and I'm having a hard time <laughs> concentrating, <laughs> honestly. Uh, and this is a great festival because I feel like Austin is known for its music festivals, but I think this draws people from all over the country, too. Sure, it, it does have a, a music element, but mm -hmm. we definitely focus on bringing in chefs and great talent from all over. Uh, it's a unique festival to Austin, so you can try it all in one place uh, down at Auditorium Shores. So, Is there anything new, different this year than previous years? Yeah, so we've expanded the fire pit area. Um, that's kind of the area where all the chefs grill open uh, over a live fire. Uh, you can come out and try stuff straight off the grill, which is kind of an amazing thing. Um, we have uh, a lot of female, powerful female presence this year, so we're super excited about having Sonia Cote over the grill. Uh, so she's going to kind of bring it out of the grill game. That's exciting. And I think some people may be a little intimidated by the foodie scene because it just seems like so much. But there really is something for everybody. Oh, for sure. Festival. It's so accessible. Uh, you really can just go down and it's very relaxed environment. You can learn a lot about new types of food if you're kind of averse to trying new things. It gives you the great opportunity to go down, try a bunch of stuff and see what you like. And nice. a lot of people go to the festival. So for you, is it hard to prepare for such a big crowd? Yeah, it, it has its challenges, you know, preparing, um, you know, a nice, beautiful, tight plate like you'd want to serve in your restaurant, mm -hmm. but doing that for 250 people, like, yeah. like for Thursday night. But, um, you know, we've done it before, and it's a lot of fun, and it's, and it's, it's nice to get out of the restaurant mm -hmm. and, and be outside and um, just be a, a part of such a fun event. And the other chefs that are doing this dinner on Thursday are incredible, and I'm really excited to be able to, to be a part of a menu with them. So. Yeah. It's making me hum hungry just talking about all of the food that will be there. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. <clears throat> yeah. So if people want to get more information, where can they go? AustinFoodWineFestival.com has kind of the, the, uh, the full schedule of what okay. you'll see. So your Thursday night event was just Feast Under the Stars. Uh, Friday night, which is Grilling and Chilling with Chef Tim Love. And it's a hands-on grilling demo that's going to be really fun. And then, of course, the full festival on Saturday and Sunday. And then the fan favorite, Rock Your Taco, which is on Saturday oh. night, uh, which is kind of a celebrity chef showdown of, uh, yeah, of uh, taco competition. So it'll be really oh. fun. I mean, when chefs compete to make good tacos, we all win. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we it's a win, win win. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming and giving us more information. and. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't hold. Yeah, we're going to dig into anymore. this as soon as we go to commercial break. <laughs>